So in this video is replaying the Nameless, which is a tier 8 Japanese heavy premium tank. Um, this is part of the Valkyria Chronicles tanks um, that we've got on what console? Uh, this and the E-Device. Uh, they're in store at the moment. Um, not too sure if they'll ever come back. Uh, they do say that last chance and the rest of it. But um, yeah, if you are thinking about getting them, probably do get them. Uh, just in case it is the last time. Um, but this tank, it's a quite mobile heavy, as you can see. Um, it's quite good. Um, it's I, I do prefer the U device, uh, just because I think the U device has got that that extra bit of mobility and just it's just a bit better overall. But this is a really good tank, um, regardless. So yeah, this is from, uh, as I said, Valkyria Conquerors 3, which never came over to the west. Um, bit of a shame, but uh, we'll see if they do remaster those games. Um, so yeah, Valkyria, Con Valkyria Chronicles, a bit of a strange series of, of video games. Sounds like a lot of people think it's an anime. I think there is. I haven't seen it. I've just played the video games, but... Um, yeah, it's got some. It's it's like World War Two with a bit of fantasy in there. Um, yeah, so back to this game uh, on Sunset Coast here. Just coming up to this location, that I always like to go. Um, just sort of playing the north on the Sunset Coast. Always usually do. Always usually works out well. We're just seeing what my eyes can can spy out. It looks like they're pushing quite quite well along the north but they seem to be just sort of camping in sort of B4 area um, do you think I need to get a move on soon uh, before the match starts going away but um, no rush at the moment um, still a lot of tanks on both teams so decided that the enemy aren't coming this way they're, they're, they're not coming this way um, so I need to I need to move if I'm getting any any damage out of this game. Thinking that um, my allies they're just pushing in one direction, so I just want to go this way just to open the um, sort of open an, another sort of firing angle out at those enemies up on that hill. And um, yeah, I just want to try and use this rock a bit of cover, thinking I'd get spotted, and sure enough, I do. And yeah, just trying to um, get as many shots into this tank as I can. It is slap side on, so I'm not having any issue going through it. And yeah, getting some nice shots in there. So yeah, I mean, it's not too bad. Um, reload's quite nice. Uh, the alpha's quite nice. Um, although maybe a little bit low for a heavy tank, but I think for a sort of the mobility of this tank gets, I think it's quite nice. And as you saw just um, just bounced the shot off the Tiger 2 and luckily dodged the, um, the Dreadnought shot. Um, but yeah the armor's, the armor's pretty good, I think it's sort of a similar story to the device. Quite nice whole armor, turret armor's not the best but it's got some, you know, it's quite small, strangely, strangely shaped so uh, you can get some bounces so just um, going on this tank and get a nice kill there. So two tanks up at the moment. Um, we've been two tanks up most of this match at the moment. Um, but just looking to try and sort of flank around this dreadnought. Dreadnought's just fired, so that's usually always a good time to, to go in on it. Wasn't too sure at this point if it had actually fired. Um, I started to doubt myself there. Um, but yeah, sure enough, it, it does seem to have fired. Now we're around the back of, um, of the Tiger II. Um, unfortunately, the gun depression is not the best on this tank. Uh, and just carrying on going, I don't want to stop so the artillery can hit me. I'm just checking what's, what's still alive. But yeah, I think this tank is definitely worth getting. I think it is a good tank. Um, if you do like sort of Mobile tanks, uh, particularly mobile heavies, I think this is a, a good tank. I think if you're not 
particularly fussed about Valkyria Chronicles. Um, then maybe not, because there there are better better tanks. There are other a lot of other heavies you can get, a lot of other tanks you can get other than this. Um, but if you are a fan, I think it's probably worth getting. Um, although if I had to pick one, I think I probably would pick the the Edelweiss. But going into the end game now, there's only two enemy tanks left. Just searching for where they are. Pretty sure they've pushed down beach. Um, they didn't go middle. They didn't go around north. So it's only really beach, or maybe in sort of sort of the five line, sort of H5, that sort of area. I'm sure enough, it looks like they've they're sort of bouncing or going up that way. Bounced on that one, unfortunately. Uh, just auto aimed on the Japanese heavy and doing it again. I just really want to try and outflank it. But at the moment it needs to it needs to angle for one of us. It's angling quite nicely now for, for, for the two of us. Uh, for me and my allies. But now it's kind of side on but it's still looking at me. Um, I think I'm poking the wrong way really to be honest. I should have gone forward, I didn't, shouldn't really have done that, I didn't want to take a shot into the, the engine. But um, it decides to, to angle its front armour to my to my ally so I'm able to get in there for a relatively easy kill. So yeah, uh, that was the Nameless, I think it's a nice mobile heavy, I think it is definitely worth getting, particularly if you like Valkyria Chronicles. Um, although probably like me, you've never actually played that tank in Valkyria Chronicles um, but, but there we go so yeah nice first class in that that replay top of the team three and a half thousand damage and three kills so yeah really good tank nice um, nice Valkyria Chronicles tanks uh, both this and the Edelweiss